Hi, hey, and hello. What's poppin'? It's me, Shayla, and I'm back. I'm back with another video. And yes, I'm feeling very explosive today. Let me calm down. Let me call my Napoleon Dynamites. That's um my clean version of nipples. Sorry, mom. Anyway, if you are new to this channel, welcome, honey bun. Welcome, welcome to, to our club. club! Welcome, welcome to, to our club. club! And if you not know... What he do, gang? What it do, baby? Yeah. So, I noticed I didn't do that in my last video and y'all wouldn't even go tell me. Oh my god, that's so disrespectful, like... And if you didn't even watch my last video, that's even more disrespectful, like... So, today's video, as y'all saw by the title and the thumbnail, I will be reviewing the... Drum roll, please. This baby. This is the Fenty Beauty Eavesdrop skin tint okay. oh excuse me it is a blurring skin tint my bad Riri let me tell y'all about the skin tint so of course it says it's supposed to blur the skin um which you know like blurs out your pores and stuff like that depending on what shade you wear and the regular foundations will depend on what shade you need for the skin tint. I think it's a good match for me. I got the shade 20 and I'll mention it again later in the video. Uh, I wear shade 420 in the, um, the foundations. So I needed shade 20 for the skin tint. Um, uh, if you need help finding your shade of course it's going to be on the website i will be reviewing that today and giving you all my honest opinion today i went back to work and uh i wanted to review i'm sorry one of my buttons came undone y'all can't even see it so focus focus so today was my first day back at work and I decided, you know, I'm going to get out today. Why not just go ahead and test it out? So I did. And of course I did it for y'all because I love y'all. And my lips are dry, but I love y'all. Let's go ahead and get this uh, intro video out the way and get this video popping. I hope y'all enjoy. Period. We get it from my mama. We get it from my mama. mama we get it from my mama. We get it from my mama. Okay, so boom. As you can see, I already did my brows and eyes off camera. Just something neutral because I'm going for a natural look today. I also primed off camera. And according to Fenty, you don't necessarily need a primer for the skin tint. But I did some underpainting. So, I felt like that needed a primer. And for those of you that don't know what underpainting is, 
it's a technique that a lot of people use to get more of a natural snatched look by highlighting and contouring under the foundation or in this case your tinted moisturizer slash skin tint so that's what y'all can see me doing right here just blending out that contour around the perimeter of my face and around the bone structure of my nose and of course if y'all want me to do a video on how I highlight and contour or just my basic face routine, let me know. Because y'all know I'll do it. I'm here to educate the people. You know what I'm saying? So now I'm taking this concealer that is my shade. And it has a warm undertone to it, which explains why it looks kind of orangish. And I'm using that to cancel out these dark circles because what y'all not finna do is see me out here looking like I ain't slept in two weeks. Which I low-key haven't because I've been battling the wrong chap. But y'all ain't gonna be able to tell. Then I'm taking this highlighting concealer and I am just brightening up certain areas of my face and these are the areas where light would naturally hit my face and y'all see how i'm spraying let me put y'all on a game next time you do your makeup before you blend in your foundation your concealer whatever products you use spray your face with your setting spray i don't care if it's dewy or matte let it sit for a little bit and then blend it out. Come back and tell me how your life has been totally changed. And I already know what somebody's thinking or saying. Girl, that concealer is not your shade. Or that concealer is too light on you. I know, the concealer is pushing Caucasian but be patient and watch me work because it's all gonna blend out so i like blending with a brush first because it just gives more control over the product but i always go in with a sponge afterwards to press that product in more into my face that way it looks more blended and seamless and now it's time for the star of the show other than me the skin tint so like i said earlier i'm going in with shade 20 and i'm going to be covering the highlight and contour shades that i use to give more of a natural snatched finish what i didn't tell y'all earlier though is some more facts about the skin tint it claims to be lightweight and it also claims to be light to medium coverage, but as you can see by my reaction, that is a lot. It covered enough to cover my insecurities, my student loan debt, which I mean, if Rihanna wanna pull through and do that, that would be dope. Let's get back on track. It is also $29.50. And and it comes in 25 shades. And if you are ever interested in investing in it and you wanna find your shade, you can get matched on the Fenty website, which I will leave a link to down below. So just like I did with my concealer, I'm going in with a sponge and making sure I press that product into my skin even more. 
And another thing I meant to add is that Fenty says that this product will not clog your pores, which is great because my pores are already going through enough. So I forgot to mention that I will be leaving every product that I used in the description box just in case y'all want to try them out. I'm doing the rest of my face routine and this is me pressing the powder into my skin. These are the places that I sweat a lot or the oil tries to pop out of my face and be like, hello, did you forget about me? Well, here I am. And that's me dusting off any excess powder. No powder speck left behind. Then to add some color back into my face, I am using a bronzer. Okay, one more time for I go or whatever Drake said I just had to share one of my makeup secrets because a lot of people ask me what blush did you use or what highlighter do you have on baby most of the time it is eyeshadow and when I say most of the time I mean literally 99.999% of the time So I lied, that wasn't the last time, but here's the finished look and I will check in with y'all later. All right, y'all, so it is currently 1120. Uh, I just wanted to give y'all a little update. Uh, I've had my mask on because uh, like I said earlier, I went back to work today. And right now, besides like some of it coming off on my mask, I'm living for this skin tint. Like it's it's giving skin. The oil uh, that usually pushes through is not pushing through. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it came off a little bit on my nose. Um, but I was expecting like some of my makeup to come off. Not necessarily the skin tint itself. Uh, but I was expecting like my bronzer and stuff like that, like my baking powder, uh, to come off. But, um, I don't know. I may do a retouch. I may not. Cause I mean, if I touch it up, it's still going to come back off. But other than that, I really do like it. Um, people can't even like really tell that I have makeup on which is good we like that okay we stand for that um but yeah so far so good uh i'll come back whenever i get off of work and uh give y'all an update i'm not even gonna do like any touching up or anything we're gonna we're gonna wait it out that's what we're gonna do all right i'll see y'all later all right y'all so here we are it is like 7 13 maybe and i'm still holding up everywhere else besides my nose and where my mask was forehead is still good and i've been sweating like under here so um yeah like so far I'm still doing good. Uh, and I've had this on for literally 12 hours. I'm 
I'm sold. Whenever I don't have to wear a mask would be great. This is a perfect uh, solution for the summer months when you don't want to wear foundation. Uh, I like it, honestly. Right now, I know it's sold. The camera's over here. Uh, I don't even know why I pointed that out because I'm still going to look right here. But anyways, right now, the skin tint is sold at Sephora. Uh, I'm not sure if they have it in stores yet. Uh, they may in like certain locations. I know for sure it's sold online. So I ordered mine from the Fenty website. Don't know if I said that earlier or not, but... I got mine from the Fenty website. I like it. I recommend it. If you're not trying to wear foundation, like the heavy foundations, or your foundation just feels heavy on your face, um, I recommend it. The coverage, y'all saw the coverage. And like it didn't even transfer. Um, I'm bad with makeup and white, anything white, white dresses, white shirts. So the fact that it didn't transfer at all onto my shirt, that right there sold me over. So on a scale of one to five, It's got like a four and a half for me, just from that transfer on the mask. I mean, it don't look fat. It looks bad over here, but it don't look bad over here. I lied to y'all too. I just thought about it. I lied. I went back on my lunch break and touched up a little bit. I just, I couldn't not do it. I'm so sorry. But yeah, I think that's perfect for the summer months. I'm going to use it this summer uh, just to keep from wearing a uh, foundation, depending on where I'm going and what look I'm going for. Let's wrap it up. Enough rambling. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you didn't, there's something wrong with you because everybody likes my content. Please comment and let me know if you plan on buying this, if my review sold you over. Also, let me know in the comments if you uh, would like me to review the e.l.f. I think it's a CC cream that they have. I can do like a comparison for the people that don't want to spend $30 on $15. I got y'all. I'll do it. I'll take one for the team. But if I don't like it, y'all gonna run me my six dollars back. Period. Alright, y'all. Make sure you like, comment, of course, and you already know. Say it with me. Subscribe. Make sure you subscribe because you deserve it. And so do I. Okay. Okay. Peace, love, and hair grease. I got, I got, I got, I got loyalty, got royalty inside my DNA. Cocaine quarter piece, got war and peace inside my DNA.